Hello out there subscribers and friends. This is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Hello everyone. Now if y'all remember I showed you this tin can back uh, in my penny stove video. This is the start of my uh, wood alcohol stove. And I'll show you more here in just a second of what I've done. Okay, now I've shown you uh, in the previous section of this video my can that I was going to take and convert it into a stove. It's an alcohol slash uh, wood stove. I'm not completely finished with it, but I want to show you some of the pieces and how I opened that can up was by taking a regular can like this and taking this little tool right here which you can see is called the one touch I think it's shown on uh, those infomercials but it opens cans from the side so you just take it and put it on there like that you set it down there and get it ready to go you push it till it catches and you let it go and it sits there and it'll cut right through the top and pop, cut the top of the can right off but it won't leave a burr on it so it'll keep going until it finally gets done and you just take the lid right off and there is kind of a sharp edge on here but it's not not real bad you'd have to be a little careful it's not something to let kids play with but this edge you know, I can pretty much run my finger around it and uh, won't cut me. So that's how I cut the can apart. Now what I'll do is I'll show you the can as much as I've got it so far. And there it is. Doesn't look like much. It's just a regular little can, but hmm, this is interesting up here, isn't it? And I'll show you about that in a minute. You can see my mark out. I've got uh, I got to cut a doorway into it, an opening in the side here, so that I can uh, get wood into it. Now this is the top screen that I made. It goes up to top. And this little tool. This is a handy little tool here that I'll show you about in a minute that I made. Now it didn't come like this. I had to bend this up. What it originally was, uh, if you remember my uh, survival stove that I've got, that wire mesh that was over the top, this was a big round basket that had two little ears on each end, and then this was going around it, and then the wire basket was underneath. And it used it to sift stuff with. Well, once I used took the screening off of it I had this and I'll show you what it's for in just a minute further on down in here there's a tent peg that I've taken and bent and there's another one and they're bent just the same so further on down inside here I've got my penny stove I would have fuel down in here too, but I don't have it down in there right now. Pull this out. And there's another wire basket along with my primer pan for my stove. Okay, now, if you take a look, oh, son of a gun, there's a hole in the bottom. I wonder how that happened. I cut that hole in the bottom, and I ended up using a pair of tin snips because I didn't have a hole saw big enough. But, uh, once I got it done, I took a half round file and I went around this edge and sanded it down, smoothed it off pretty good. So it's fairly smooth. Now let's show you how this works. Primer pan, penny stove. I light it out here. It's going. I can take this and just try and set it over there. But damn, if you set it over there, what's going to happen to my finger? My fingers are going to get roasted. Well, if you'll notice on the can here, I just used a church key to cut these out. But if you look right there, you see a couple of special notches. 
and right here, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it, there's a couple of special notches here also. Hmm. That's a great marking. Let me move this to the side. That's a great marking point for when I take and hook that in there like that, pick it up, put it over my stove. So that way I can move it without getting burnt. I can also pick it up once it's hot, just latch it back in there and move it and set it off to the side, do whatever I need to do with it. Now, normally these little pins, this wire grill can either go at the very bottom and the stove and all can go up here on top like that and then naturally it would all be inside here and you can see how high up it brings it brings it a lot higher up so if I want something up higher I'm trying to do something here on top I can now and also I can just flip the screen over use just the screen itself and have a uh, wood fire inside that way nothing falls through the bottom of the can through that big hole or else I can leave it turned over like that put everything in there like that fired off like that now if I have it turned over the other way and the stove on top of it I don't know if you can see it or not but that would put it right at this level which right below this opening I'm going to cut right there in the side I gotta use my Dremel tool when I get a place to do the work at so that way I can stick a lighter or something like that in there or uh, strike steel into it whatever get that primer pan going and get the fire going inside so that way I've got it at a good level now let me get to these pins I bent these pins for a reason if I have the stove all the way at the bottom I can slip that one in like that then I can also take it's hard to do this one handed because I don't know where the end of the pin is there it is now it's sticking out the other side now this end I've got a hold of is a lot heavier than the other end it's a lot longer so when I let go of it it drops straight down as you see now I can take and turn it that pins not going to come out Oop, there it is after I shook it a whole bunch <laughs> but under normal use it's not going to come out of there so there's that pin then I take and do this other pin I put it in now then I've got the two pins down there at that level so if I wanted to set something on top of there and, and cook it that away and have just a penny stove at the bottom it'll work if I wanted to take this and drop it in put the penny stove on top which would bring it up to about that level which makes it a lot higher and I can set something big up on the top of the stove cook that away alright now if I've got the penny stove in there at that height and you see where these are if I wanted to set something in there it'd be too low so I take these out I just move them up here put one in there let me get a second hand in here get one in here now then when I've got the stove inside you can see the reference of the height kinda and whatever I'd be setting in would be up here and it wouldn't uh, be too hot it'd be it'd be at a pretty good distance from the stove itself now if I had just wood inside there too then I could set whatever on top of there or up here it either way now the only thing missing is a grill son of a gun I don't know what I'm gonna do well you remember this first screen that I pulled out I cut it to where it sits right down on top yep, let me get it set in there all the way it takes two hands naturally you wouldn't be doing this when this is hot there it is the grill sits in there you can put whatever you want to up here on the top of it grill it up up there and if I wanted to uh, 
take and pick this thing up while I'm grilling well I just take my handy little tool it still fits in there and I can take and pick it up I can move it where I want to I can do what I need to do the fire inside whatever if it's raining out I can take it into a more covered area or move it around where I want to I will not burn my hands by using that that I made that's pretty cool I thought and then packing it all down real simple just take and pull the pins out take the bottom screen drop it all the way down in there drop my pin pan in there and drop my penny stove in there drop those two things in there and let me get it turned around here one of them didn't drop in the right place and there's a little little place on the grill between it and the can that I can drop my little hook I can also have all my fuel down in there and I can have a bunch of stuff down in there if I wanted to and then I just take this little grill and I just pull the handle out a little bit set it on top and there it's all nice and neat and cozy and I could turn it whatever I'm not going to lose anything everything will stay in there for the most part maybe the pins will come out I don't know but I'm planning on taking once I cut the opening in the side of it wherever I got it marked at there it is once I cut that opening in the side I'm thinking about taking this tin can that I've cut both top and bottom off and split the side of it and see if I can't make a door that way when I'm not using fire or wood I can have the door shut and have it make a little latch down at the bottom of it where it slides in there I can have it shut and have more heat coming straight up out of the can itself or if I was using fire I would take and swing to lift the door up swing it open and I could be able to shove my wood into the side of it so that's my new stove I've made uh, let me know what you think about it so far and once I get the side door put on there I'll uh, post a modification to it y'all let me know what you think take care I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.